Hello and welcome to The Society Show. I'm Dave Vanier. And I'm Claire Lynch. And today we're joined by our favourite knights in shining armour. Yes, that's right. Today we are joining the Battle Reenactment Society. Battle Reenactment Society, or BATSOC, is aimed at anyone interested in recreating the past, whether feasting, crafting, and of course, battling. BATSOC have battle training and crafting sessions every week. They also have links to other universities around the country, from Leicester to York. We joined them on a snowy day for a training session. So I'm joined here with Chris. How are you doing, Chris? Very well, thanks, yeah. So does it ever get a bit rough, a bit dangerous, or is it always so safe? No, 80% of our training is to be safe. I mean, it always looks, it's always meant to look really aggressive, look quite nasty, and we sometimes kick or headbutt each other, but it's all completely safe. Awesome, I guess better safe than sorry. I'm joined now with Maddie. And Maddie, I was just, we're just admiring your shield here. And I was just going to ask, where do the costumes come from, or where do you get the shields and the weapons? Um, quite a lot of it we make ourselves. I mean, I'm, these gloves were well, the first gloves that I made when I joined uh, Batsock. Um, the shield came from Tony, who's the guy who runs everything, and he's in Leicester, so he made this for me. Amazing! It's really, it's a really impressive shield. How do you sort of research the battles? Do you pick battles to reenact? The battles that we do, English Heritage have a list of what battles they want us to do, and we go and do the shows. But in regards to incorporating history, we go to visits to different castles. Like uh, we went to Kenilworth over Christmas and um, we've been to Nottingham Castle as well. Sounds really interesting, there's so much more to it. Is the, the night look very impressive? Is it a hit with the damsels? <laughs> um, more than you might think, but um, well, you, know, you don't get people running at you, certainly. But, um. I might try it out, it looks very good. That's all you've got, peasant! So every week we're going to be given a challenge from each society that we interview. So let's find out what today's challenge is. Matt? Hello, my name is Matt Hobbs. I am the chairman of the University of Birmingham Battle Reenactment Society. And today I am portraying for you a 12th century knight of the Crusades. The challenge today, or for these two fine young warriors to be, will run at me and they will attempt to kill me. However, they will probably find that they're going to get butchered. <laughs> right, so the aim of this is to sort of show you a little bit of the showy stuff that we do. We can't give you all the safety equipment that we'd normally give, so we're gonna, so we'll run through sort of what I need you to do first, and then after that, we're gonna let you have a bit of fun. So today our challenge is dying. Whoever can die in the most dramatic way will score a point for either the girls' team or the boys. First, though, we need to get our helmets and swords at the ready. I'm up first, so that the battle commence. Go on, go on! That's our first challenge complete. Back to Matt for the results. I think the first thing I have to stress is we did have a little um, conflagration over there and we were both hugely impressed with both of you actually. That's one of the best first attempts we've ever seen from anyone and we'd quite like it if you joined. But however, <laughs> we did have to come to a decision and in the end we decided owing to sheer commitment, gutsiness and sort of being quite safe. We have this young warrior as the winner. Yeah! Finish them! We'll show you the same as So that's been a quick look into Battle Reenactment Society and we've learned so much about them. Join us next week for more society-based fun.